you can give me this. Huh? You can give me this. Tell the we and you are the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible talks about. We, bring, we come to bring forth the truth to our people to open up our understanding that we are the chosen people of the Most High. We the chosen people of the Most High. Nobody else but us. You know, it's hard to relate because we've been programmed to believe that everybody else is above us. Everybody else is above us which they are because we didn't follow the laws that the commandments of the Most High. And he prophesied that this would happen to us. Why? Because we didn't want to follow his rules and regulations. Y'all understand that, <laughs> rules and regulations. So here we are now in the condition that we're in, we all in the same bag. I don't care how much money we as so-called Negro and Indian Latino people have, who are the 12 tribes of Israel scattered among our nations in ghettos and slums, the last high, the first five, going through all kind of changes. You know, no matter who it is, they ain't but that far to be right here with you, man. Straight up. They change the money system, now what you gonna do? You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that's in the making that's against we, the children of Israel, that we don't know anything about. It's about a genocide against us. Because we got next, forever and ever and ever. And the elite know this. The average person don't know much of anything. Because we as a people been destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So this is what we gonna stand on this day and forever. Colossians 3, 17. Colossians chapter 3, verse 17. Come. And whatsoever ye do, in word or deed, do all, Baha Shema Mashiach Yavashai, giving thanks to Yahweh, Baha Shema Mashiach Yavashai. Right, so Baha Shema Mashiach Yavashai means in the name of the known and Savior. And we give thanks to the Most High, get Ephesians 5 and 20. We have to give thanks to the Most High in the name of the known and Savior. This is not something that's new because nobody can gainsay on the fact that when the Mashiach Yavashai, who we gonna call his Hebrew name, who the world calls Jesus Christ, who was a black man that walked the earth, that wasn't his name because the J was invented in 1630 AD, that's when they started using it. So here we are now calling on a name that's not even him. That's not him. But we call on this name and some still call on that name that don't represent him. Now, if your name is, is, is John and somebody calling you Harry, you ain't turning around because that's not your name. That's why he's coming back on this earth with a name that nobody knows but he himself. To bring it on to the 144,000, 12,000 from each of the tribes of Israel, who we are. 12,000 from each of the tribes of Israel, the 12 tribes, which equal 144,000. That's going to be ruling with him. We're going to rule this baby forever, the earth. In righteousness. That's right, in righteousness. Not in the wickedness that you see now. You ain't got to be concerned about criminal acts coming against you. Right. You know, dope. You know, messing up your mind. That ain't going in the kingdom. Men with men and women with women. They're not going into the kingdom. That's why you got to repent. Come out of that and come back to these laws that's commandments of the most high. Read that, Ephesians 5 and 20. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. Give me thanks always for all things. Everything. You got to give thanks for everything. Read. Unto the Most High and the Father. Baha Shema Mashiach Yahushua. Right. In the name of the Lord and Savior, we got to give thanks to the Most High for whether it's good, it's evil, it's bad, it's a blessing, it's a curse. We give thanks to the Most High for everything. Because right. a lot of times he's just checking you, man. Mm. Trying to get your attention. Get Hebrews 6 and 8. So a lot of times we don't understand why we're going through changes. Hebrews 6 and 8. A lot of times we're going through changes because of this. As it is written. So everything that we bring forth is going to be as it is written, not what we think. Because we don't know the ways and thoughts of the Most High. This is the only way we know him, period. It's through his word. Let's read it. Hebrews 6 and 8. Now 12 and 8. So like 12 and 8. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 8. Right. But if ye be without ch chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye that. Do deal, deal, deal with uh, seven. 
Yeah, deal with seven. Go to seven first. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 7. Right. If ye endure chastening, if you endure chastening, meaning the most high checking you, something happening to you, read, the most high dealing with you as with uh, as with sons. As with sons. That's why he's just letting us know he gonna check us, he's gonna cause us to go through some kind of changes because it's from him. He's worried to be thanked for everything, right? Yeah. So he says, read that again. If you endure chastening, you endure chastening, the, the most I go ahead. The most I deal with you as with sons. The most I deal with you as with sons. Read. Right? For what son is he whom the father chasteneth chast 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 not? Right. So what son is it? that the most high chastened or not. When you look at the apostles, they crucified every last one of the apostles. They killed the prophets, you know, and they all went through changes behind what? The truth. That was bringing forth the laws of the most high, bringing our people back to the moral laws, the civil laws, the dietary laws, the ceremonial laws. And before Mashiach Yahweh died, the sacrificial laws where they were sacrificing animals for the atonement of our sins, which is the transgression of the Most High's laws. He gave us laws. Those are his laws. So when somebody say you're not under the law, they tell you you don't have to follow the Most High power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And that's his name forever. That's his name. And Jacob is the forefather, our forefather of the 12 tribes of Israel, who we are. You see? But we don't know that because we destroy for a lack of knowledge because we don't, we have been told to lead the most high alone. Lead the most high alone mm -hmm. and follow the law of the land. Mm -hmm. So who, the, who, who put down the law of the land? The so-called white man. And all those that's been programmed to follow his curriculum. Whether it's in politics, whether it's in the false education, right. whether it's in the, the, uh, the lies, the philosophy that he's huh? taught, huh? all these things, man, it's a programming. Because huh? we didn't follow the Most High's laws, man. Read on. So the Most High checking us. He checking us. He putting us in certain diverse, different situations to wake us up, to realize that he exists. Read. Verse 8. But if ye be without chastisement. But if you be without chastisement, you ain't going through no changes. That's why you got to understand what he's saying, because a lot of y'all down here going through changes. All of us going through something. Kind. You see what I'm saying? Some going through more than others. But if you be without chastisement from the Most High, read. Where of all our partakers. See? He said all our partakers. Ain't nobody getting away from this. What the Most High saying, read. Then are ye bastards. Then are you what? Bastards. What's a bastard? A fatherless child. The Most High ain't dealing with you. That's what he's saying. Read. And not sons. And not sons. Come on. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh. Yeah, you have fathers of our flesh, because all of us have to have a father to be born in this earth. Ain't no man and man brought forth nobody. Ain't no woman and woman brought forth nobody. So you gotta have a daddy mm -hmm. to bring forth the flesh. <laughs> a son to bring forth a daughter. Huh. You see what I'm saying? Read. Which co corrected us. Which corrected us, one way or another. If it wasn't your biological daddy, it might have been your stepdaddy, as they uh, say right uh, now, uh, or the police gonna check you. <laughs> Some man gonna check you, right? Uh, For real. You gonna be checked one way or another. Say, I ain't got no daddy, I wasn't raised by my mama. Okay, well you go out there in the streets, you do something wrong, and violate his rules and regulations, or this system that they say you gotta follow. See if they won't check you. You can't whip your child, but what they'll do, they'll beat your child, they're killing children. Straight up, hold your hands up, pow, pow, pow. Hold your hands down, pow, you're still getting killed. But you can't check your children. But the most I say, a daddy's supposed to whip that child, man. Say, he ain't gonna cry, don't, don't even fret his crying, he says in the scripture. Whip him on the sides, he said. We ain't talking about child abuse. And if you don't, then you don't love your child. That's what he said. But this world say, hey, you whip your child, that's child abuse. You ain't talking about beat them where you're going to hurt them when they go going to the hospital and all that stuff. But he said, you're supposed to spank your child. You're supposed to discipline your children yeah. according to the most high. He disciplining us. That's why he's coming back to say, hey, your daddy going to check you. Read. And we gave them reverence. You gave them reverence. You know, you did something wrong, all those that had fathers, you know. You did something wrong, and your mama said, hey, wait till your daddy come home. Yeah. You're like, oh, man, you, you know 
daddy gonna get it. Cause you know, whatever mama can do, daddy gonna double it, triple it. Right? Go ahead. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits? Yeah. Shall we not be more subjected to the father of what? Spirits? Spirits? The most high, the father of spirits. That's the angels, man. Right here around us right now, man, surrounding us. As I'm speaking right now, as you're speaking, and when we leave, they still gonna be here. The good and the evil. Straight up, the righteous and the evil, all of them. They right here, man. Whole lot of spirits running around here, man. Come on. And live. And live. Come on. Because if you don't, if you don't, you gonna die. Mm. He gonna kill you. Read. For they verily, for they verily, for a few days, chastening us after their own pleasure. Yeah. Once they find out what you've done, a few days, they're going to check you. They're going to whip that butt or punish you one way or another. You're supposed to. That's why you got all these monster children running around here. Because they not, they, they, the, the, the parents were told you can't check your children. You can't whip your children. We was whipped. When you whipped, we was checked. Everybody was checked back in the day, man. You even got whipped in the school. You did something wrong, man. To make us strong, man. Make us have morals. Ain't no morals now, man, because ain't nobody got, got their ass whipped. Right now, right? Didn't you get whipped? No? Well, you ain't probably, maybe you ain't Israel. I don't know. We got whipped. That's right. It might be why you're going through changes. Most I said, hey, who we love? He going to chastise me. He, that's why he went to the daddy. He said the daddy's supposed to whip that child, man, to make him be respected and be morally right. Me? But he, for our profit. For our what? Profit. For our profit, me. That we might be partakers of his holiness. Hear that? That we might be partakers of his holiness. That's why he's checking us. That's why he chastised us. But you have those, man, that are not going to hear, not going to adhere, as it always been, because more of us that's wicked than those that are righteous. Two-thirds of our people are not going to come back. They're not going to repent. They're not going to mean ask forgiveness for what they have done wrong in the eyes of the Most High. They're going to continue to do the same thing. This is the end of the world. Right. Just like Noah was crying out, it's going to rain. It never rained before. But when it rained, <laughs> everybody was knocking on that ark, man. And they still, it's, that ark is right there in Mount Ararat today in Turkey, man. They have found that ark, man. People don't believe in the Bible, you better understand. They found chariots of Pharaoh, they got them in the museum in Cairo, Egypt. Right there, for all eyes to see. So you gonna be checked if the Most High love you. All of us gonna be chastised one way or another, if you sons. If not, then he say you what? Bastards. And who's the bastard that he says in the Bible? Zechariah 9 and 6. This the bastard. But y'all think, hey, y'all think they the chosen people of the most high. When well, you the chosen people of the most high. Let's read who the bastards are. Zechariah 9 and 6. Because we've been disenfranchised from who we are, man. We don't know who we are. I got 49 different names of who we are until this day, man. Asking brothers, what's your race? What's your nationality? 49 different identities. That's lost, man. That's destroyed. Don't know who the hell we are. They did a, a great job on us, but it was because the Most High put his hand in having them do what they did. You can prove it in the Bible. Got it? Yeah. Read that. Zechariah chapter 9, verse 6. Right. And a bastard. A what? A bastard. A what? A bastard. A who? A bastard. A bastard, read. Shall dwell in Ashdod. Shall dwell in Israel. That's what the most I call the people that's there now. What do you call them? A bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. A bastard gonna dwell in Ashdod, man. So that's why we gotta clean ourselves up, man. Get our loop to eighth chapter. We gotta clean ourselves up because we have not followed the way of the most high, therefore, we don't know the most high. Now before you get that, get our uh Isaiah 47 and 1, let's go through that first, because you gotta understand something, as I said, as far as us being polluted. Cause we gotta stop saying brainwash. Cause you ain't brainwashed, man, you brain polluted. If you don't know what's right, if you don't know the truth. 
if you saying lies that they have taught us to believe in. You don't know the truth. Therefore, you are depending on the lies, the programming that has been done to us. Read that. Isaiah 47 and 1. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. Right. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Say, come down and sit in the dust. Come down and sit in a low estate of subspecies of people, <laughs> as they call themselves. He's talking about the so-called Caucasians, who biblical name are the Edomites. Read. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground, read. There is no throne. Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Hear that? Oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. There ain't no throne, oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. Read. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. They shall no more be called tender and delicate. Read. Take the millstones and grind meal. Oh, yeah. Uncover thy locks. Uncover thy locks, read. Make fair the leg. Uncover yourself, meaning you've been exposed for everything that you have done. O daughter of the Chaldeans, O daughter of Babylon, read. Uncover the thigh. Uncover every part of your body, man. You know, that's why he said pull up your dress. <laughs> Pulling up the dress, man, O daughter of Babylon, O daughter of Chaldeans. So you expose everybody. Everybody seeing your nakedness. Well, that's shameful, read. Pass over the rivers. Uh-huh. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. See, your nakedness, that means your private part. Every part of you, everything that you do in secret gonna be uncovered. Come on. Yeah, thy shame shall be seen. There it is, your shame shall be seen. That's why you see right now the Supreme Court said what? It's okay for a man and a man to get married, a woman and a woman to get married. The shame is being seen of America. Look at what this, what's happening down here. You mean to tell me America don't have enough money? To have everybody off the street where you ain't got no damn tent? And clean it. <laughs> and clean up this place, man? They don't care about us. Nobody care about us, man. We ain't even care about each other. That's the violation of the most highest rules that we have broken, man, because he said he love us. Read. I will take vengeance. He said he gonna take what? Vengeance. He gonna take vengeance, man. This our power. Read. And I will not meet thee as a man. He said he ain't gonna meet them as a man. He ain't gonna meet them as a man. When about Shaq Yarshai come back, he coming back in his angelic, spiritual power. He hanging out with Micah out of the Archangel of War, preparing to make war right here on this earth, man. Read. As for our Redeemer. As for our Redeemer. Read about it. As for our Redeemer. As for our Redeemer. Read. The most high power of hope. Is his name. That's right. The most high in the Mashiach Yahushai is his name. Mashiach, read. The Holy One of Israel. The Holy One of who? Israel. That's who you are. You the true Israel. We the true Israel. Read. Sit thou silent. Say, sit thou silent. He telling them, read. And get thee into darkness. Get thee into what? Darkness. He say, get thee into darkness. Say, sit, sit down and be quiet. Shut your mouth. Shut up, he said and sit thee in the darkness. Read. O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans. O oh, daughter of the Chaldeans, which is Babylon. Read. But thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. They ain't gonna no more be called the lady of kingdoms. America ain't gonna never be called the lady of kingdoms. I know, she coming down, man. I know, brother. That's what the most I tell you. Read. I was wroth with my people. You know what he said? He was wroth with us, man. Yes, he was angry with us. Angry with us, right. You yes. see what's happening with us yes. all over the world. Ain't just here. Everywhere, wherever we scattered among these nations, man, yes. this is what we're dealing with. Yes. Ghettos and slums, you, really? You know I have polluted my inheritance. Oh, what did he say? I, I have polluted my inheritance. He said he polluted his inheritance. Who's his inheritance? We are. That's right. Uh, hold that. Get up, Deuteronomy. I know the book too, the book is real. 32, eight. And we are. That's right. We got next. Hey, that's right. That's what it's saying in the prophecy. That's right. That's that, what it's saying. That's what it's saying. But you know something? He's only gonna play bless me on this. Cause this is the part that I keep trying to tell, brother. He's only gonna pick a chosen few. That's right. Right? One third. That's 144,000. That's 144,000 will come out of the one third. Of the one third of the one third. The two thirds, he's, he's like I say, he's not gonna choose them. Yes, sir. They're wicked. Yes, sir. They're not going to come back. Yes, sir. But brothers like you that understand. Yes, sir. Are you telling brothers, telling people trying, to come out? I'm, you know, I'm trying, not, that's, that's what it takes, man. That's you what know, it takes. You All you can do is just keep trying it. That's what we're here for. Right. Keep trying. Right. You know something I tell them, I say, 